is Sarah. Many people can compare themselves to different things. I, if I can compare myself to anything, I would compare myself to a book. A major reason why I would compare myself to a book is because people come or turn to books for advice, for comfort, or maybe to figure out an answer, or for whatever reason. Um, I like to think that my friends and family can turn to me for advice, or for comfort, or maybe just answer a simple question. I feel that they can always come to me if they need to, and that's important because a book, you know, you can pick a book, or you can pick a friend, and hopefully I'm that friend that, you know, my friends and family can turn to. Also, I feel that I'm like a book because a major reason you've always heard friends and family say, don't judge a book by a cover, and just because it might not look the way you want me to, or dress the way you want me to, doesn't mean that you might not, you know, like me or want to get to know me. And just because a book has an ugly cover doesn't mean you're not going to enjoy the book. Um. So maybe, for example, if you read the first couple pages and you don't like the book, for example, if you get to know me and you don't like me, then that's fine. Or if you read the, you know, you don't think you're going to like the book, but you read the first couple pages, and you get to get to know me after get to know me after a few conversations, then hopefully it'll all be worth it. And another reason why I think I'm like a book is because they have mystery books, adventure books, romance books, comedy books, and I think I have many different sides to me too. I can be funny, adventurous, mysterious, suspenseful, whatever. Um, and Although, you know, I'm like many other things as well, I think I compare it to a book first and foremost. Thank you.